Hi everyone, Saga here, and we're entering a new week of astrological energies influencing us. <laughs> so we're entering the week with the Sun and Mars in Sagittarius. So we still have a very strong Sagittarius energy going, you know, that so sort of desire for adventure and looking at things on the bigger picture and trying to expand and grow and explore, right? Both from the Sun, which is our core energy and our core movement if you will as well as mars which is associated with our ambitions our goals and our conflict resolutions or lack thereof <laughs> um, we also have mercury in capricorn now capricorn is a hard worker it's very practical very pragmatic and mercury is the communicator that you know handles contracts and um thoughts and literally communication so we're very much being pragmatic and down to earth in a sense with our thoughts and our conversations or at least desiring that in our thoughts and our communications right now and venus is entering scorpio today that the video is going up so monday the 4th of december so venus is leaving behind libra which it aligned with and that balance that was flowing in the desire for beauty and expression and goes straight into that deep, dark, mysterious, enchantrix <laughs> sort of vibe of Scorpio. And so our love and our values and all the things associated with, with Venus is going to be very influenced about our desire to go deeper, to go into the spiritual, to go into deep, dark secrets <laughs> and our shadow selves. So it's a time of also a lot of sensuality, a lot of sexuality i don't know if i'm allowed to say that word so i tried to twist it a little bit but i'm sure you know what i mean um and a lot of empowerment in that sort of inner dark goddess energy no matter your gender or gendering of energy that's kind of the association and vibe right um so it's going to be very interesting so if you're very at home with those sort of energies it's going to be a very beautiful time for you where you can really feel yourself empowered by this if you're not at home with this these energies then it's probably going to be a little bit challenging as you're going to be pushed outside of your comfort zone and pulled into a bit of you know deep diving when it comes to your values and love and sensuality and all those things um december 6th depending on your time zone of course neptune goes direct <laughs> one less retrograde and you know as we're going through december we're gonna get a lot of planet stationing direct again we're getting mercury retrograde the 13th of december so we're having that sort of end of the year mercury retrograde that we have to go through but outside of that <laughs> Things are calming down now. Things are starting to align. We're getting that winter energy, at least in the northern hemisphere, that's really coming around to hibernate us after this time of intensity and revelation and challenge and change, right? We're getting that little moment of gestation right before spring hits again. So Neptune goes direct in Pisces and things will start to flow a bit more in ease, if you will, with that. And that's pretty much what I want to acknowledge this week. Next week, we have some moon stuff and Mercury retrograde, but I'll talk about that next week. And as always, I have a card for those of you who feel it is for you. And it is the card of freedom, which is very interesting, considering what I said about some of you being pushed with the Venus Scorpio alignment. Um... Because for some of you, this is going to be like an empowering freedom. And for others, it might be that you find yourself invited this week with that Sagittarius and Scorpio combo, right? To really explore yourself, your surroundings, and letting loose. Really going deeper into what you want and expressing that unashamed unafraid because you know sagittarius will shoot their shot and go for it they will explore they will be wild and free right um very much that sort of adventure energy of free spirit exploration and scorpio of course is about that mysticism and about that shadow self work about embracing your your deepest darkest sides <laughs> um, about going deep within and about expressing yourself without fear of shame or ridicule 
right? It's about tapping into your willpower, into your inner mystic, into your inner creator, um, and into your ability, your magical self to really express it, especially paired with Venus, beautiful combination. Um, so for some of you, this is definitely a week where you're going to feel invited and even challenged for some of you to step into the concept of freedom or what it means for you. It might not be that you're told to like, oh, quit your job and go, <laughs> go, go on a road trip across Europe, right? It might not be that just yet but it could be the challenge to tap into what freedom looks like to you and how much you actually have that connection with what freedom means to you in your life right now and a little bit of a loving boot up the bum <laughs> to really start trying to implement those things into your life within the circumstances that you have because yes we can't all just like go from zero to a hundred of dream utopia right of quitting our jobs and going to live in a jungle somewhere right or, or opening a cottage somewhere selling bread um we can't all go there immediately but what we can do is we can acknowledge that that's where we would find a sense of freedom and peace and start implementing those things to get there right so it starts with the acknowledgement it starts with the desire for freedom and the yearning for freedom and the understanding that you already have freedom now that's a tricky statement for me i understand that some people watching this might feel like no i don't you don't know what you're talking about um because circumstances can make us feel very locked down and with it without getting too heavy in this video you know i have a lot of history myself with having those moments in life where you feel caught and you feel like there's no freedom um, what I do want to express is that it's closer than we think because we actively have choices every day. They might feel limited due to circumstance because of course, be sure that you're safe and, you know, <laughs> in a place where you can enact certain choices you want to do without fears or repercussions that can actually harm you. But within a certain, to a point we always have the freedom of choice, right? We have more freedoms than we sometimes think because we often can get stuck in those mind loops of, but I have to, but I should, but I gotta. We don't gotta as much as we think we do. In fact, we gotta do very little <laughs> other than to live our, our truth, right? Again, depending on contexts and circumstances, of course, we have to pay our bills if we want to live in our house and so on and so forth. Um, but I hope you get where... It, what I'm getting at here and it's very much that sort of loving message for some of you to really explore to drop what you might feel stuck in and drop what you might feel unhappy with and to start exploring ways in which you do have freedom and ways in which you can express that freedom and use that freedom to continue building upon that sense of freedom because dear ones feeling free and feeling <laughs> empowered and feeling your most authentic self is not supposed to be a luxury. It's supposed to be your right. You you are you have an innate right to exist. You have an innate right to be who you are. You have an innate right to feel safe in who you are. You have an innate right to express yourself. Now, people also have an innate right to not like it, but you have that innate right to be right? Just by being. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to wait till you're good enough. You don't have to wait and be like, I'll be happy when, or I'll do something fun when, or I'll go on that vacation when. You don't have to earn it. Circumstances might be directing your life a bit through different journeys and explorations and lessons, but you always have the innate right to be. You always have innate freedom as a part of this weave that we all exist in. So this is a week to really connect to that. And I also, my attention was brought to a red string of fate there. So for some of you, and it's like in this bird cage, um, with, to which she actually holds the key. So if, again, with a card, I didn't even notice that until now, but you have the key to your own freedom. Fate isn't trying to hold you in a cage. So don't convince yourself to stay there. And with that, I wish you a beautiful day or night. Wherever you are, may you have a beautiful week ahead, and I'll see you again next week.